I'm here with David Herrera, former president of SEPA, trustee of the SEPA Foundation, and uh, one of the architects of these uh, glorious years that SEPA is enjoying at the moment, and a fantastic congress with over 6,000 people. Now, we've talked to various uh, ex-presidents and current presidents of SEPA, executives, about what has been behind the success of, of, of SEPA. Uh, we talked about leadership, we talked about the, the effort and hard work, um, we talked about teamwork. But what we haven't talked about is something that, that seems um, to be a key here, and that is the softer social skills of, of SEPA, the diplomacy, being able to talk to people, being able to provide hospitality that no one else does. Yeah, I think when you think about it, why all these relevant uh, persons in periodontology from all over the world, mm. they love to come to the SEPA Congress. Well, I think SEPA is a good host. SEPA really take care of the people that comes to our yes. congresses, yeah. also to the European workshop. And it is maybe not related specifically with the people in SEPA. It's something that we do in Spain. We are recognized because we are with host. But in SEPA, you are especially careful with that. I mean, you want them to feel at home. And I think we are able to, 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 to get that because people want to come back. People enjoy, enjoy the Congress, enjoy the parties, enjoy the social life. This is made because at the end, friendship is established with all these people coming from different parts of the world. So I think we have learned that from Mariano Sanz, because Mariano Sanz established professional connection, but those professional connections are also personal connections. So whenever I remember when I was attending the first CEPAS and I saw always Mariano in a table with all the foreign speakers taking care of them. And I think now many people in CEPA is doing that. So you really want to feel, to, to make them feel at home. And hopefully we, we, are been, we have been able to do that. Yeah, but it's, it's not just a question of come to my house, try my cooking, have a swim in my pool, is it? You know, Stepper has, seems to have reached out internationally, put people together, influenced other congresses around the world. Uh, it's, its effect and, and reach is, it goes far beyond the, the, the events that it hosts. Yeah, I think the respect that many people have for the Spanish Society of Periodontology is based in ma on many different aspects. The quality, the size of the Congress, the professionalism of the team, the scientific level, but it is also based on the feelings that they have when they are in relation with the Spanish Society of Periodontology, their board members, their trustees, or all the, the people that are participating in the meetings. So I, I, t I tend to believe that this is going, what is going to happen. I mean, if you put together in a cocktail all these things, at the end what you have is a feeling, a positive feeling about going to Malaga, to Sevilla, or to, to Madrid, to Barcelona for a Congress to have a meeting with the Spanish Society of Periodontology in Spain or somewhere else, because also you know that the SEPA is becoming very international, so a meeting of the Spanish Society of Periodontology could be not only in Spain, but in Panama, Colombia, Argentina, Chile, or even the United States.